Hey y'all, it's Charline. I'm back in praising. Guess what? Wow, yes. I'm back in praising because I bit off my ex-boyfriend Ryan's. Well, he's my ex-fiance, but I bit off his big toe just like I got my bit off in that cafeteria fight over the fish patty. His balance is gonna be really bad now for a while unless he has enough money to get a fake toe. I still am missing my big toe, so I don't know when I'm gonna get my balance back. Obviously, I'm sitting down right now because, you know, I can't balance for shit. I couldn't be happier that I'm baking praising because I get to be with all my old friends and I get to get unlimited amounts of crack cocaine. Hopefully y'all don't end up in prison, but hopefully you do and then we can be friends. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a prison makeup tutorial. I'm gonna show you guys how I got nice look on my face using items such as a magazine. Also in prison, we don't have any mirrors. So I did this whole look with a pan. I can't really see that well. So I hope it came out decent. Colored pencils, toothbrushes, Folgers coffee and a little stick of deodorant. My friend actually gave me a makeup brush that I'm gonna be using today for my bronzer. So if you wanna see how I got nice look, then keep on watching. Okay, y'all, so first things first is we're gonna take our magazine and you wanna find a picture that looks like a color that you might wanna use. I found this Afro Latino mine and I love the way his skin looks. So what you're gonna do is take your deodorant like this. Rub it on his skin like that. You want to get it nice and good. Get it rubbing it nice and good like that. And then, I mean, you can kind of see there, some of his skin color came off, which is what you want. And then you're going to use your finger. Well, I have my brush, but you know. And then look, bronzer. And I'm going to dip it in. And then what you're going to do is use it as, as a contour. Mmm, I smell like the grind. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit more of his skin and just get my forehead a little bit. Literally everybody comes from, to me for their makeup because I do it the best out of all the girls. And I'll let you in on a little bit of a secret. I do makeup better when I'm on crack cocaine. So next what we're gonna do is take a brown colored pencil and we're gonna line our lips. In order to gain the colored pencil to come out crimey, you want to dip it in water. So I did have a water bottle that I had here. You're going to want to just go like this. So it's a little intense right now, but it'll all come together in the end. Oh. So now that we lined our lamps, we're going to pick out a color in our magazine that we might like to put over uh, the lips, use it as lipstick. And I found this nice red. You're gonna take your deodorant again, and you're gonna glide it over whichever color you want. I want it to be a little bit darker. I don't want it to be too bright like my hair. And then you're gonna swish your finger around in the deodorant. And look, do you see how beautiful that is? I mean, look at this. You can't blink this anywhere else. Literally, when I get out of prison, I'm gonna become a makeup artist. If you need to go back for more, just go ahead and keep, keep deepening. So next what we're gonna do, this is the most hardest part. We're going to do our eyes. I like to use black. I love black, anything black. I like to just put a little bit of water in the lid. And then I dip my colored pencil in there. You don't have to worry about it being perfect. You just put it on there and then you can smudge it up liner with the cum tie. Now, if you're wondering if this hurts at all, the answer is yes, it hurts a lot. But you know what? I'm bite ass blanch. So now we're just gonna blend it out with our finger. And if you want to add more, you can just take your colored pencil and just keep adding more, keep blending it. It's definitely going to look worse before it looks better. All right, y'all. So someone in the cell next door is getting jumped and it's really loud. So I decided to finish the rest using the microphone on my Motorola razor. As you can see here, I'm just smudging it in my eyes. Um, now I'm going to give y'all a tip. If you want to get your eyes nice and clean, you want to clean them up, just take a Q-tip and make sure you get it nice and white, and then you can clean up your eyebrows. I mean, your eyes as best as you can, so you don't look so messy. 
Next, I'm gonna take uh, a toothbrush to give my eyebrows that fluffy, sexy bush. And yes, this is the same toothbrush that I use to brush my teeth. So what? Now I'm gonna take the brown colored pencil and fill in my eyebrows and also go over my lip liner because it doesn't last very long. Now for eyelashes, I'm gonna take my instant coffee packet, open it up, pour it in. Ugh, it smells so good. Mix it with a little bit of a Q-tip. Wow, I swear this looks exactly like what I pulled out of my ear last week. It was delicious. I'm gonna use the coffee as mascara. Being very careful I don't get it in my eye because it will leave you blind. All right, now I am super pissed because I filmed this part two times, but the camera wasn't even on. So that's why I look so red already. This is the color that I used. It's a pretty pink color on this beautiful dress on this man. I put my deodorant, put my finger there, and I'm gonna apply some more blush for like the third time. And obviously it's too strong, so I'm gonna take a tissue and rub it off. And sometimes at the end, I like to add a little beauty mark right there <gasps> look at that i would not fuck with money i kill a bitch and honestly you could add beauty marks wherever you want sometimes i'll just add like a couple there just because i look more tougher mm -hmm. 